Quarter 3 statistics between July and September 2016 released by the Central Bank of Kenya indicate that exports to African countries shrank by as much as 2.8%, largely contributed by a decline in exports to the ESC market. The value of exports to the ESC reduced from 39.5 billion shillings to 29.2 billion shillings as imports from China increased 27.3% from 23.9% in the second quarter of 2016 to stand at 97.1 billion shillings. I think we should not blame the, Chinese, the Chinese as such because these are our traders who go to China and buy these goods to come and sell to our market. So if we, anybody we want to talk to, we should really talk to our traders that they should bring goods that are of you know, reasonable quality. The high cost of production in the region has also made it difficult to compete with cheap imported goods. However, lack of harmonized standards could be ESC's greatest undoing. We are trying to say that standard bodies within the region should recognize each other's certificates so that if I have a KEBS mark, I don't come to your country and you're subjecting my goods to further testing. So the mutual recognition of standards within the region uh, is, is critical. In order for us to grow ESC, we need to have that mutual recognition so that goods can move freely. Uh, because as a customs union should operate, non-tariff barriers should be a thing of the past. At the stage where we are, by now goods should just be moving freely within the region. However, the reality on the ground is that they are not moving as freely. And what is happening instead is that imports are the ones making their way as we block each other's goods. The ESC Manufacturers Network is now calling for increased harmonization of standards for goods produced locally. According to Akiaga, this has seen manufacturers lose big as it opens loopholes for counterfeits. The losses incurred by manufacturers in the region are quite high and uh, we've, uh, out of this IPR study we'll be able to update the data that uh, we've had in terms of losses, but it's, it's a big loss for businesses in the region. This comes as the region prepares to review the common external tariff after five years. In Kenya, the manufacturing sector registered a decelerated growth of 1.9% in the third quarter of 2016, compared to a growth of 3.3% in the similar quarter in 2015. Ronaldo Willy, News Our Business.